Ale Goldman joins me now. He's the president of Kathy's Cleaners, but he's here today because he's also a volunteer for Angel Flight. So welcome. Thank you. How did you get involved with Angel Flight and what is Angel Flight? Uh, Angel Flight is a nonprofit organization that's nationwide. Uh, we belong to Angel Flight West, which handles the West region, uh, and they're based in Santa Monica, mm -hmm. uh, California. And Angel Flight provides primarily uh, medical, or well, they provide air transport primarily for medical uh, reasons. So it's all kinds of people with medical needs, such as if um, they live in a small town and need to travel somewhere else for cancer treatment mm -hmm. or, uh, or anything along those lines. Um, they can also do uh, Tissue transplant or tissue transportation and uh, things along those lines. Okay. Um, the reason that people usually qualify for Angel Flight, which they are screened, is a lot of times they cannot afford or they can't uh, travel in any other means. Say they're too far. Mm -hmm. um, they can't uh, be in the big public airports due to their immune system being yeah. compromised. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't handle the, the altitudes, um, those kinds of things. Um, a lot of times it's just a sheer uh, uh, funding issue. They simply don't have the funds to, to pay for transportation. Sure. Uh, so what Angel Flight does is because it, it's primarily general aviation and we have access to far hundreds and hundreds more airports um, than commercial flights do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're able to go from point A to point B. So how long have you been flying? I've been flying now for um, 14 years. Yeah? yeah? What what got you into it in the first place? My father, actually. Yeah? Um, yeah, he's been flying since uh, before I was born, and mm -hmm. I grew up around it and flew my first solo when I was 17. And, oh, wow. And then, yeah, just kept going from there. Just knew that it would always be a part yeah. of your life. Yeah. What kind of plane do you have? We have a, uh, we have a Beechcraft Bonanza. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a four seat, it's a piston, it's relatively capable in, in its class and I'm um, living here in the Northwest, we have the icing and, um, and a few other nice features which make it a good transportation machine and our, our corporation owns it uh, because we use it as a transportation machine all the time to go from here to California mm -hmm. and well, I mean, I've been as far as Wisconsin and um, so we use it a lot. Yeah. Um, so it is nice to be able to also use it for, for these reasons as well. So why did you decide to use it for this reason? I mean, what made you, what was the catalyst? For Angel Flight? For Angel Flight. Angel Flight, well, it's, um, one, it's a good excuse to fly. Yeah. Always looking for a reason to fly. Flying is not cheap, and <laughs> when you have a good reason to do it, and you can justify it, it helps. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, particular mission that we recently flew, um, we actually, the way Angel Flight does is it doesn't, solicit to the pilots. Okay. We, they, we sign up, we get orient, uh, um, they do the orientation, we join, uh, but then you go on and you choose your missions. Mm -hmm. You go on, you see what you can afford, what you can do, your own capabilities. Sure. This one in particular was very, um, uh, um, this one was very much a need. This was, it's a little girl, uh, her name is Riley, who is a four-year-old quadriplegic with cerebral palsy who lives in uh, Medford mm -hmm. uh, with her mom. And they were actually in Dornbecker's uh, for surgery that she had to have. Um, and there was actually a pilot that took the mission um, and then last minute couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I actually got a call um, two days before the flight saying, hey, is there any way? They were obviously going through all the Oregon wing and calling pilots going, is there anyone that can pick this up? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, and I said, well, what is it? And they said, and they told me who it's for. I said, okay, I, I can't say no. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, it could be, you know, they, they could have other things, but this was a little girl um, out of surgery. And the other option, unfortunately, um, they don't really have any family in the area, mm -hmm. and their only other option is about a six and a half hour drive back to Medford with a medical transport, yeah. uh, which is actually similar to an airport shuttle. They make stops, so it's not a direct, and you can imagine a little girl in that situation, that would yeah. literally be torture. Well, and the cost, too, oh, because as I understand, this was a family in need. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There's, um, we, and the really nice thing is in Oregon, which is unique, um, only the Oregon wing of Angel Flight in the West region, we have an alliance with Alliance Club. Mm -hmm. Um, and what the Lions Club does, they provide free ground transportation nice. um, to Angel Flights. Uh, so yeah, we, we called, I called the uh, uh, delay us on there and they went and picked them up from Dornbecker's and brought them to PDX. Mm -hmm. So we flew from here to PDX and met them there and then flew them to Medford. And there, there was also a nurse uh, with a van that picked them up. So for uh, you, what was this experience like? It was very rewarding. A um, little nervous, be just due to you know, the, the little girl's condition, sure. how she would do in the airplane. But um, the mother, um, Sabrina, she was absolutely incredibly thankful, uh, very nice. Um, but everything went really well. The, the girl was relatively in good spirits. She actually slept the whole flight. As soon as we took off, she closed her eyes and 
went to sleep, so that was nice. It's always nice to look back in the airplane and see that mm -hmm. the little kids, I've got a four and a half year old and, 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 and almost a two year old, so it's nice to see when they can relax and, oh, yeah. and just go to sleep. Especially, I mean, she was literally discharged that uh, morning. So it went from straight from the hospital to us into an airplane. And, um, and the mom, yeah, she just was taking pictures. It was a gorgeous day, mm -hmm. flying by the Cascades the whole way down to Medford. And um, yeah, so it was really, really nice. And yeah. I mean, you realize that you took their horrid nightmare of six to seven hours in some van mm -hmm. to, it was actually, the flight was just an hour. Oh, wow. Um, you know, down to Medford and, um, you know, right to a you know, little private terminal where they can just get out of there and no hassle and no yeah. security and, you know, none of those things that they would have had to possibly deal with, so. And little Riley got to sleep in her own bed that she night. She did, she did, and it was just fantastic. And actually, yeah, I, I got sent, uh, um, her mom text messaged me some pictures of her that evening. Mm -hmm. You know, and she had a smile on her face because she was, you know, more recovered. And, oh, I bet she was yeah, just refreshed. So, you know, nurses, yeah. when you're in the hospital, and I love nurses, I'm not, you know, yeah. but they're always in there. You can't get a moment. Yeah, it's a hospital. It's a yeah. hospital. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, so she got know. to go home, and that's, yeah. that's really nice. So th those things happen all the time. Uh, we're not always able to take the missions just sure. due to, you know, timing or weather or things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, actually, the Oregon wing, which is nice, is actually one of the most active wings in the Angel Flight West region. So, wow. Yeah. We're very lucky there. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, really yeah. good group of people here. Well, this so. to me, you're on this show about love because yeah. this to me is love at its finest. Love yeah. for your fellow human beings and compassion was, for, for those in need. So thank you for what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. And in fact, the, um, the call sign that we fly under is compassion. When oh, we do fly angel flight missions like, you know, American Eagle or any of those. So we actually fly under compassion and our number. So. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, and that's an internationally recognized thing. So. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you. It was yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Okay. And coming up, we'll meet my fifth grade violin teacher.